Well, hi there. It's your customer relations representative, Madam Exotic Beauty. I decided to diary showcase how y'all doing. I really wasn't finna do this video, but I decided that it needed to be put out there. Hi, all you gang stalkers. Gang stalkers. This message is for y'all. Y'all remember when y'all tried to pull that shit with me over there on Ida Street up in Michigan? And y'all was mad because I was waiting for y'all on the porch because I don't have a problem with confrontation. Um, what actually is your occupation? Is it bully or snitch? Because you're getting paid. But I just need to know. So when you file your taxes as a gang stalker, what do you put down for your occupation? A bully that's paid to tell on people and harass people to their kid himself? Who raised you? And what organization hired your ass? Operation Gang Stalkers? The FBI peoples? You got to be out your mind to honestly think that you should be compensated for harassing people and they don't pay me for harassing and having to listen to y'all <clears throat> but what purpose is it that you are doing this for is it for the money you doing it for a check or a place to live because you can quickly get put out today and no more finances will be cashed out to your setup because you're going to be taxed I, I want the gang stalkers to understand where I'm coming from. When you harass people until they kill themselves, that's a federal crime. Mm-hmm. It is. Um, it could be considered premeditated murder. Mm-hmm. Because if that person actually dies and you have ties to that person dying and you the reason that they died, yeah, we're going to charge you with that. We are full speed oh my god and then um people pay you to come to their house and their job and and then they kill themselves because y'all won't leave them alone but you know what go around come around right so like do you think for one second you exempt that this ain't gonna happen to you because they paid you because you obviously wrong obviously you wrong i'm almost 100 percent sure that if you do that to somebody it's always going to be some retard to come right behind you and think they can get that same check and do the same thing to you till you jump your ass off of a, a building. But I, I would suggest you go jump in Santa Monica Pier off the ocean. That way the Mexican people can fish you out of the water. That way you ain't bloated and floating. You know, they all float, though, eventually. So um, with that being said, I'm going to need y'all to cut that out because you're not doing a good job. Uh-uh. Y'all met y'all failed miserably because look, I'm still here. <laughs> and and, and y'all can't intimidate me. I don't give a damn how many satellites you use. I got a garbage collect up there just taking your satellites and busting them up and recycling them so I can make flying cars. Yeah. Oh, and I am from the universe, the actual planet. So if you don't want to get hit with a couple of planets, I would suggest you stop harassing people because you can't carry all that weight, let alone think about carrying all that weight. So I'm going to just ask y'all politely, leave them pickers alone. Uh-huh, all of them. Don't, don't mess with nobody else. Don't harass nobody else because um, it's going to happen to you and you'll have me to deal with because then I'll become the gang stalker and you would kill yourself fooling with me because I don't got nothing but time on my hands. <clears throat> I don't have a job. Uh, my job is to do what I'm doing right now, telling y'all to quit. Um, blow the whistle. Anyway, Sido is going to drip in that drown. Cut that shit out because you don't want my smoke because I really want all the smoke. And I mean like Neptune and Jupiter style smoke. Sido's out. I love you, Pluto.